Hi, we're Alexander Tool Hire. My name's Bob and I'm going to show you some tool tips. In this video I'm going to show you uh, how to use a, an edging sander. Uh, it's used when uh, you, you're sanding floors and the main floor sander doesn't go right up to the edges. So you need about three or four inches where this, uh, this does the job without ruining your skirting board. First of all what you have to do is you lean the machine over and make sure it's not plugged in of course and the key for changing it is just underneath. What you do is you loosen the centre nut there and you pick your sanding sheets. The higher the number uh, the finer the sheet. All sandpaper is a standard and um, <coughs> you can tell how coarse they are by the the higher the number. So there's a 24 grit there, 36 grit there, 80 grit, 120 grit. And we just make sure that it goes through the centre. You tighten that up and make sure that you tighten it up fully and that takes that takes the washer down below the sanding sheet otherwise the washer will scrape the floor. We're almost ready to go so what we do is we just take this off and then we lower down the cage and we put the dust bag on because this picks up 95% of the dust and it simply just pushes on just pins, pushes on like that and the cage supports it so as when it gets full up with uh, sawdust it doesn't scrape on the floor and what you've got is you've got a button on the top and what you do is you, you press it down and as soon as you let it go the machine stops but what you do is you take it right up to the the edge of the, uh, the skirting board and that revolves separately to the sander disc <coughs> when the bag gets less less than a half full take it outside take it off empty it or change the bag over. You must finish off with a fine sanding, shape, sanding paper otherwise you start getting marks in the floor and that's simple how you use a floor sander.